Prebiotics are like the stuff that the, that the probiotic bacteria consume for fuel. So if you're taking a probiotic that's, that's a bunch of different bacteria or even one strain of bacteria, I actually recommend you take one strain at a time. So like I've told you guys this before, there's a company called Natren, N-A-T-R-E-N.com, and they make a, um, something called Megadophilus and they make something called Bifidofactor. And one of those bacteria is for your intestinal tract, the small intestinal tract, and the other bacteria is it's found predominantly in the colon. So I take one one day and I take the next the next day and I actually mix it with my fiberlized product because the bacteria need to feed off of fiber. They ferment fiber, soluble fiber that is, for fuel, which obviously if you're feeding the good bacteria and they grow, they're gonna you know, colonize your colon and your small intestine and, and stay healthy there and protect, they, pre, they basically create a barrier on the inside of your intestinal tract and protect it from pathogens and, and, and foreign bodies and different foods that shouldn't get through and toxins. Um, if you're feeding them with prebiotics, which is the, the food source, which is basically soluble fiber, then you're, you're giving them, you're nourishing them essentially, in essence. So I don't think you need to take a probiotic all the time, but if you're taking antibiotics or you feel like your GI tract is just not working, you can do a month of probiotics and then take a break. But as long as you're using a good quality, high, uh, high potency soluble fiber supplement, you're gonna be constantly feeding whatever's normally in your gut anyway, and it's gonna allow them to, to, to reproduce. So that's, the two of those components are important, but the prebiotic, which is fiber basically, is the most important component because obviously we all have gut bacteria whether you take a probiotic or not, it's just a matter of whether you're giving it what it needs to flourish.